Shalom, Shalom, Maki Mr. Brother Hey Yakan. And first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Wakakwadash, Barakadum. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of the millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. Okay, to you, I want to say Shalom. Okay, today's lesson is going to go into just about being humble and how you should walk and how you should carry yourself when you come into this truth. Okay, because the Lord let us in this thing, man. All right, because hey, He loves us, man. Because He, he Christians say He brought us out of the darkness into His marvelous light. So you know He has to uh, love us if He had did that. You know what I mean? But we have to keep Him uh, loving us. We have to keep Yahweh Shai uh, uh, pleased. We have to keep kissing the uh, the, uh, the Son, pleasing Him, doing things that are pleasing. All right, walking and holding yourself as a certain manner. All right, so scripture says 1 Peter 5 and 6, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time. Okay, so let's go into the regular definition of the word humble, having or showing a modest or low estate of one's own importance, of low social, administrative, or political rank. Similar words is, is meek. Differential, respectful, submissive, okay, lower in dignity or importance. All right, hey, that's beautiful, man. All right, let's go into the etymology of the word. Uh, submissive, respectful, lowly in manner, modest, not self-asserting, asserting, obedient, okay, lowly. All right, hey, these are beautiful words, man. You can go into the blue letter. To make low, to bring low, to level, reduce to plain. To bring into a humble condition, reduce to meaner circumstances, to assign a lower rank or place to, to a base, to be ranked below others who are honored or rewarded, to lower, depress, height, devoid all haughtiness, to behave in an un unassuming manner, to have a modest opinion of oneself. Okay? Hey, that's beautiful, man. All right, let's go into the word modest. Unassuming or moderate in the estimation of one's abilities or achievements. Relatively moderate, limited, or small. Okay, we ain't over here bragging and boasting about what we do, who we are, okay, so on and so forth. The Lord says to humble yourself, right? And he will exalt you. Let's go into the word exalt, okay? Hold someone or something in very high regard. Think or speak very highly of. Raise to a higher rank or a position of greater power. Okay. Let's go into the blue letter. We're just going to understand this word. It's important to go into the words to understand what the words are really, what they really mean. Because English has created their own meaning of the word. You go to the etymology of words to find out the origin of the word. The actual meaning of the word. Okay. To lift up on high. To exalt. To raise to the very summit of opulence and prosperity. To exalt. To raise to dignity, honor, and happiness. To lift up on high. All right. There you have it. So what did the Lord say in 1 Peter 5 and 6? Humble yourself. Submit yourselves. Be meek. Under the right, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, that he may raise you up high in due time. All right, we, 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 ain't, we ain't out here bragging and boasting that we put in the work, that we out in the highways and byways, that we Israelites, that, that, that we know this truth. All right, we're humble. We're walking circumspect. All right, what does scripture say? Be wise, be harmful as does, but wise as serpents. Okay? We're not out here trying to, uh, what scripture say? Uh, if, if possible, have peace among all men. We're not out here looking for violence. We're not out here trying to start things. We're not out here trying to trying to uh, have problems. All right, brothers like to get on social media apps and go back and forth all the time with scoffers, man. You got to get over that, man. Tell them the truth and break down a few scriptures. If they can't get it, man, move on. They'll be going back and forth with all these goddamn people on Twitter and Instagram, man. It's, it's, you, 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 first off, you're making yourself more stressed and you argue with a fool, which makes you a fool. Okay, tell them the truth, break it down. If they can't get it, man, they can't get it. It's not for them to get. A lot of y'all be stressing yourself out trying to uh, wake up people that ain't meant to be woken up, man. All right? Galatians 6 and 3. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. 
So all these people think they are something that they really aren't, man. These people don't even know who they, who they are. These people are still out here calling themselves black, a color, African-American, okay? Two continents named after white men, okay? Puerto Rican, which means rich port, Dominican, which means Domingo, okay? These people don't know who they are, man, but yet they think they something that they not, man. They don't even know they're the prince of the power. They don't even know that they're Israelites. They don't even know that they come from the 12 sons of Jacob. They don't even know that their forefathers are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They don't, they don't know too much. They don't really know nothing for real. All they know is what Esau taught them in their educated classrooms, man. In their Eurocentric classrooms, man. European history. They don't know nothing about their history. They don't know nothing about their heritage. But yet they think they something that they not. Posting a thousand selfies a day. Thinking they're this, they're that. Searching for all this uh, 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 validity and all this bull crap that comes in the world. All right, so Searching for validation from others, man. All right. It says when he is nothing, he deceives himself. That's what these people do. They deceive themselves, man. All right. Because what the scripture say? It says Ecclesiasticus ten and nine. Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such as one setteth his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he cast away his bowels. So it says, why is earth, earth and ashes proud? All right. You, you, we ain't nothing but earth and ashes, man. All right, from the dirt we come, from the dirt we shall go back in once we die, man. That's why they bury you in the dirt, man. When you when you die, you, you belong in the dirt. We was created from the dirt. All right, but you people are so prideful and, and haughty, man. Thinking you are something that you really aren't, man. James 4, 6, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore, he said, Yahweh resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. And there you have it, man. All right. God resisteth the proud. All right, what's the scripture? Uh, it is easier for uh, for a camel to find a needle than to a rich man to enter into the uh, into the kingdom of heaven. You know, roughly paraphrasing, but hey, man, because that rich man, he's not going to be able to go through the things and see the things that 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 that, that meek and humble man did. All right, Psalms twenty five and nine: the meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. And we went into what the word meek mean. It's basically just a sentiment of being humble. All right? Just being humble. The Lord don't like that proud, haughty shit, man. All right? The Lord don't like you bragging and boasting about yourself, man. He don't because the Lord made you what you are. The Lord got you what you got. So for you to be bragging and boasting, you're not even giving all praises on and glory to you. How about you? shy, man. The Lord don't like that shit, man. He really don't. Psalms 37, 11. But the meek shall inherit the earth. And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. So who's going to inherit the earth? The meek, the humble, the lowly. Who the Lord's going to raise on high, man. Okay? So you got to cut that cut that goddamn pride spirit. Cut that, that bragging spirit. You know, cut all them demons, man. All right? James 4 and 10. It says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. You got to do is just be meek, be submissive to the Lord, man. Some of y'all be submissive to your bosses, your co-workers, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your parents, but you're not submissive to the whole, to the creator. To your how about she, how the one that gives you life every day. The one that gives you a roof over your head. The one that provides for you and your family. The one that gives you a job. The one that gives you good health. The one that gives you food. The one that gives you transportation. You're submissive to everything else in this world, but you're not submissive to the creator, man. That's a problem, man. All right, what's it saying? Proverbs, what, 16 and 18? Pride go before destruction and a holy spirit before a fall. Better is it to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. And what are these people going to do tonight? These people are going to celebrate. They're going to celebrate that bullshit New Year's. It ain't even really New Year's. They're going to be out drinking, celebrating, saying a whole bunch of shit they're not going to do. Out spoiling with the proud. You know what I mean? They're celebrating some pagan holiday. All right? They're not, they're not humble and lowly. All right? They'll be posting a whole bunch of videos of them getting lit and a whole bunch of BS, man. You know, you know how they do in Babylon. Uh, what is it saying? Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, the Paleo Hebrew, the Lashawan Kodash, 
shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will hear the, and will heal their land. If all Israel just turn and pray to you, how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man? The true creator, the true power. All right, and, and ask them for forgive us. Hey, the Lord, we would have been out of here, man. We would have been out of here. But Jake ain't going to do that, man. Two-thirds of our people got to be destroyed, man. All right? If it, wasn't, if it wasn't for the elect, man, we'd fucking be here forever. But the elect is the one out here putting in the work, man. Doing what we got to do to get up out of here, man. Waking up the, uh, the other lost sheep of Israel. Trying to get the hell up out of here. Heaven, the Lord done peeled their scales back from their eyes so they can come out here and speak boldly and break down the scriptures and provide breakdowns and understandings. Starting with the elder apostles on down, man. All right? And that's really it. I mean, we could go on to Micah 6 and 8 real quick. He has shewed thee, O man, what is good and what doth the Lord require of thee. But to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. There you have it, man. To walk humbly. This is a humble walk. The Lord has shift you out, man. The Lord not playing with none of that bragging and boasting uh, proud shit, man. That prideful shit, man. Just be low. Live a plain life. I be out here trying to do too much. Just live a plain life. Get a crib. Maybe get a woman. Start a family or something. And just relax, lay low, you go out to the club every week and, and drinking and, and trying to be in a scene and trying to be seen and, and so on and so forth, man. That's You're doing too much. You're, you're, you're basically in the world for real. Trying to be seen, trying to be everywhere, trying to be drunk and party and be with these worldly people, man. I'm not saying, you know, don't, don't go out and enjoy yourself. Yeah, you know, we all go out and party and we have fun, you know, we, you know, we drink and, you know, there's nothing wrong with doing that here and there. But if you're out there every weekend... That's what you look forward to on Monday for Friday to come so you can get lit. Hey, you got to check yourself, man. Check yourself. All right? So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory. Unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq, Wadash, Barak, I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me the truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I want to say, Shalom.